Oh, I haven't done this in like two weeks. I don't leave my work at work. It's good though to take a break. If you look, there's water coming out of their boobs. So I just got back a few days ago from Guatemala. I went with my oldest daughter for a senior trip slash mission trip slash study for her club test for Spanish because Guatemala speaks Spanish. Anyways, we took, we spent one week in Guatemala with Students International, who's a great uh, ministry organization, learning about what they did, helping them with some of their stuff. And then we spent another four days in Antigua just vacationing and having some good mother-daughter bonding time. And that meant I spent about two weeks off of nursing. Now for me, nursing is a little different than your average nurse because my nursing job is literally taking care of my own daughter. On one hand, I feel like that's a way easier nursing job than a lot of nursing jobs because as her parent, I'm the one that hired the nursing agency and if I didn't like the nursing agency, I can switch. So yet I work for the nursing agency. So in a way, I'm kind of like, I feel like my own boss, you know, like there's not anyone really stressing me out other than myself and my own high standards for the care I give Raylan. So in some ways I have a, a much easier nursing job than a lot of nurses. On the other hand, I don't leave my work at work because I'm really on the clock with Raylan all the time, except for when she's at school with a nurse. So it's good though to take a break from that level of responsibility. It can be really hard to do. It can be hard to juggle and find the support system to do to take that break if you're working in a hospital, you know, or if you're working in home health. Like it's hard sometimes to get away from work and from your other life responsibilities, but I think it's important. It's good for our mental health and, um, I really enjoyed my time. So today was my first day back charting. I've been back and taking care of Raylan for a few days now. And poor Chris, he had a lot on his plate while I was gone. I'm thankful for him for stepping up. But I got back and the first thing he did was come down with a cold. Probably because his body's like, yay, I can take a break now. And it was probably just holding on to those germs, just waiting, waiting until there was backup help. Um, so trying to let him rest some, but he still, he still does a lot. He's super dad. But today was my first day back charting. And even with my own kid, who obviously I've been taking care of before I started charting today, it is a little, oh, I haven't done this in like two weeks. That's a normal feeling after you take some time off work, but you get right back into the swing of it really quick. Like I'm like, oh, I haven't charged in like two weeks. I haven't looked at this paperwork. It's not a big deal. And you just, you can come back more refreshed, more excited about your job, more excited about your home responsibilities, all of life. So if you're super busy nurse or super busy mom or super busy both, whatever you're busy with, make sure you take time to take a break and you will come back refreshed. It might be a little scary stepping back in after you've been away a couple weeks. You might have to play catch up with some things, but it's worth it. And I had a great trip, I had a great time with my oldest daughter. So it was great to get away with her. And also what we did was incredibly not wheelchair friendly, uh, Raylan friendly activity. So I'm thankful that partner in crime, my husband could stay home and take care of Raylan so that I could do that. Yeah, whatever you're doing, find time, find a way to get breaks. <sighs> Nurses, especially there's a shortage. There's like that temptation that not to let your coworkers down, not to let your patients down, that you need to always pick up extra hours. You can only do so much though. And you're quality of care starts to go down. There's studies on that. The more hours a nurse works, the longer their shift is, the more likely they are to make a mistake. So even for the good of your patients and the good of your coworkers, you need a break so that you can be the best nurse you could be. So I know there's that temptation to work overtime and pick up extra shifts and never take off, but it's healthy 
and it's good. And I had a great time. It is very enjoyable to take a break. So I hope that this encourages you to schedule that getaway, schedule that little girl's trip, schedule that anniversary weekend, whatever it is. Take time to get away and just rest and refresh. First of four flights. <laughs> is our view from the center. This is the main community center. This is where we'll have our kids club. It's where we eat lunch. This is the kitchen. This is where we're allowed to fill our water bottles with uh, filtered water. <laughs> He did his just a little bit. Muy bien. Oh, poinsettias. Everyone grows poinsettia flores. Muy bien. Panchos, guacamole, tostados, cilantro, beans, onions, hucha, reina. You like it. I like it. Hunchada. Uno, dos, tres. McDonald's. Oh my goodness. It's even prettier than the pictures. It's prettier than all the pictures I saw online. So to work at McDonald's is like a really good job. It's a really here. good job. It's a good job. Like you want that job. It's not like in the States where like that's the job you don't want. Like pays well. And... Yeah, pays well. They're really respected. They're really picky about who they hire. Like it's a big deal. They have weddings here. I believe it. <laughs> You can rent McDonald's for a wedding. Oh my goodness. We made lots of tortillas and our host made this delicious food. This has got to be the best meal of the week. This is what it looks like. So this is where they would do the tortillas. So they would put the fire, like they would stoke the fire. fire. And they would um, put, you know, the pieces back on. And then they would do the tortillas here. And then all of the smoke. smoke. Go up there. She's about to have a little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, hydrangeas. Hydrangea. There are some more dogs. Dogs, dogs everywhere. The big letter first. Which one's first? Is that normal? Yeah, to see just a few. <laughs> Just remember guys, this show is free. Thank <laughs> you. Wow. That's so weird. They just all, everyone just comes out together to wash the street. Okay. <laughs> Look at all of them. <laughs> Ready birdies? Ready? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly what this fountain is, but something about women that wouldn't feed their children maybe or something. So, if you look, there's water coming out of their boobs. There's some story behind it. There's some story behind it we need okay. to read. But like, some women were tied up, maybe because they wouldn't feed their kids? I don't know, so that's the fountain with them. Um, I guess that's supposed to represent milk coming out of their boobs. <laughs> that's something. That's something. 